Hello everybody, thanks for coming to my channel. My name is One of a Kind Vlogs. If you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, cut on post notifications so you never miss a video. Comment down below. Today we're going to talk about National Corvette Day, June the 30th, 2022. National Corvette Day is celebrated every year on June the 30th. It gives Americans the opportunity to celebrate a major accomplishment in their automobile history. It is a great time to learn about how the Corvette became a part of modern American history by pushing the limits of technology and making the American automobile in industry a symbol of industrial genius. Genius! Yeah, boy! Let me fix this thing right there. Let me fix it one more time. Okay, pure genius. Yeah. In 2008, the American House of Representatives announced that June the 30th would be a commemorate of National Corvette Day. Incidentally, there was the, this was the year when GM had completed 100 years of its operation, which made it the right time to dedicate an entire day in the national cal calendar to celebrate an important milestone. Another interesting fact is that 2008 was also the year when the American automobile industry and the entire economy for that matter was undergoing a huge crisis. It was the biggest crisis since the Great Depression and was being felt quite several by the automotive in industry including General Motors. I, I remember that. I remember that they, they was going through their, their, little, their little problem and everything. Okay, let's go down here and see the timeline. 1908, General Motors is established. General Motors is established in Flint, Michigan. 1953, the Corvette is produced. GM begins production of the Corvette. 1955, GM introduces the V8. GM incorporates the V8 engine in the Corvette. 1981, Production shift to Kentucky. GM moves the Corvette production facility to Bowling Green, Kentucky. Who knew? I didn't know that. Okay. National Corvette Day Activities. One, visit a car ex ex exhibit. Car cars are regularly held in different cities throughout the year but on national corvette day make it a point to plan a visit to the car show dedicated to the corvette here corvette here you can find some of the most iconic corvette models that are impossible to see otherwise most people bring their own rare and prized vintage corvettes to these shows to let others admire them from the earliest pure white model to the most recent screen line designs, you can see it all, all of these cars at the show. That's true. That's very true. Let's see. Two, create a scrapbook. If you enjoy making scrapbooks, you will find this activity a lot of fun. Visit the flea market to buy old copies of auto and sports car magazines and cut out photographs of the different Corvette models from past decades. From past decades, you will be amazed at how much history has buried within these pages. You might even find Corvettes that were owned by famous movie stars and other celebrities of the time. As an author, as you can take this activity online and make a Pinterest board with the images you find. True. Three, join a fan club. When a little bit of online searching, you will surely find a Corvette fan club that meets regularly in people or online to talk about me, their favorite car and shave their experiences with it. It is likely taking a trip down memory lane and reliving unforgettable experiences such as the first 
Corvette purchased with the fan club memory members. Not to mention, you could also make new friends with people who share your passion for Corvettes. I think about it. Tesla has also produced sports cars driven by electric power. I don't want to say that they suck. They got a lot of power, but I don't get that. The rear wing provided balance. The rear wing on the sports cars are not simply meant to look good. At high speed, they help the car move smoothly and keep its balance. Four, the fastest sports car is the Dodge Caravan. somebody tell them you love them tell them you're thinking about them if they say that we need prayer pray on the phone don't say don't say i'm gonna pray for you and then don't do it a lot of us do that even i've been down to do that but that's gonna change because next time person i call somebody they say pray for them i'm gonna pray for them but that's the end of my video so until next time i'll see you on the next one